Good morning, everyone. Creator Mom. I'm reading another book. <laughs> and uh, in the book, he says, don't affirm. He's talking about creating a new neural pathway, if you want to say it in those terms. You want to create a new life, right? But <clears throat> Or a new way of doing things. But you're stuck in this old perception and this old mindset because of the habit and pattern already in your brain, right? In your mind, in your subconscious. So in order, say there's a new life, something new that you want to do, you have to uh, build that pathway in your mind. It's kind of, he kind of likens it akin to a, like a, you know, path in the woods, right? We want to, we like to take the path that's more clearly cut out. But in the case of our mind, the garden of our mind, we have to, if there is a path that's already carved out that's not serving us, we have to like uh, forsake that path and we have to like carve out a new path. And this can be difficult um, because we're not like used to it. Um, so he says, and this is where like affirmations and declarations and stuff can come in. So he says, don't affirm, don't do your affirmations and declarations without the appropriate emotion to back up, back it up, the, the conviction, you know what I'm saying? So but the thing is this, like you can't jump from negative to positive. And this is what the, I'll, I'll start naming these channels, Reborn with Michael Watts. He talks a lot about that. He focuses on this. Um, and Tim Grimes also does too. Coming to a place of relaxation first and also Richard Dots. He focuses on this also. He mentions this about you cannot jump and, and probably numerous other teachers because a lot of people are generally saying the same thing, but I love listening to how each person says it in their own way and adds different things. So you can't jump from negative to positive. There's too much resistance there. The gap is too big. You have to go from your negative or the, the mindset that's not serving you at all you have to find a way to relax. You have to wait, find a way to bring your nervous system to like a neutral place, okay? You, that's why they talk a lot about meditation and stuff. But Tim Grimes makes the point that like sitting in meditation for hours, like the, you don't even have to sit in meditation for hours, but sometimes it doesn't work for people. So move your body, you know, break that negative pattern, jump around, do something silly, Whatever, you know, brings your body to more of a place of neutrality. And you'll notice that when you bring your body to a place of relaxation, where it feels better, it feels good, your thoughts will start to change and your thoughts will also be of a better nature. So that's what you have to do. You go from negative to neutral. And then once you're in that spot, you can declare your affirmations you can say those good things that you really have a hard time saying when you're in a negative frame of mind and you're bogged down by the external worlds and how things look so that's all i have to share right now yeah can't go from negative to positive too much resistance negative to neutral and then you slide in <laughs> you slide in and you drop that seed into the soil all right peace